You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mm, Mm, Smells smells like freedom. freedom. Dan Ferris in the studio. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see. Hmm. 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 Alex hmm. Trebek. Alex Trebek would have been 81 today. Who didn't love oh. Alex Trebek? Oh, yeah. I liked Alex you know, even though, class act. Even though he was Canadian, we kind of made yeah. him one of our own. He was nice. Canadian, and he was. Uh, he seemed to be super smart, but then I re- realized he's got all the answers. So, of course, he's super smart. Did he? Seized. Or did he have the questions? <laughs> did he? I don't know. In the form of a question, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alex, he was mellow. He was, he, he was kind of savoir faire. He saved like Jeopardy, him. by the way. Yeah, I just spoke French. No one's impressed here. I'm super no. impressed. So, Saib Walfair. Saib Walfair, what does that mean? Saib Walfair means sw- swavy. Classy. <laughs> Cla- thank you, Heidi. You're welcome. Thanks for backing my play. You're John welcome. is so cruel. I learned, I learned French on our recent trip. Oh, we, that's right. Last August, it's been almost a year since we went to France. Yeah, right. we went to, uh, They're still talking. <laughs> oh, I guarantee where you. We, yes. <laughs> where we as, as we left France, Heidi. <laughs> Turned around, put her hands on her hips, and said, "Yes, we'll be hearing from your lawyers." <laughs> Good day, Frenchie. Eh? That was in Sw- in uh, the French town of Sicily. Uh, uh, yep, uh, Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy, oh. the matriarch of the mother of John Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, and that big loser Ted. Not sure what happened there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they talk about you know the Kennedy curse. Yeah. A lot of members of that family yeah. seen bad things yeah. happen to them at, at young yeah. ages, and uh, yet uh, Rose, she lived to 105 years yeah. old, which is pretty uh, pretty incredible. Yes. And she is just absolutely adorbs. Selena Gomez is 29 today. Oh, she is adorable. She is. Yeah. It was 1959. Goodness gracious, I was but a toddler and just cute as the Dickens. Hmm. <laughs> was 1959 this day. How do I live with myself? It's just, not easy. We just stayed back and let you do it. Too. <laughs> See, I'm trying to bide time because I literally can't read what I wrote. <laughs> 1950, and at least I'm honest. Uh, and as cute as the Dickens. Okay, it was 19... No, let's start with 1934 because I can actually make out what I scribbled. 1934, this day, public enemy number one, John Dillinger, gunned down yeah. by FBI agents outside Chicago's Biograph Theater. Yeah. Strangely enough, he had uh, been there watching a gangster movie. Oh, wow. Yeah, starring oh, really? Clark Gable, Myrna Loy, a little thing called Manhattan Melodrama. Uh. Of course, he's with the lady in red. That was actually a brothel madam named Anna uh, Capanis, who was the lady in red. So, yeah, great story. In fact, it was just a few months earlier, March 6th, that he held up a Security National Bank right here in downtown Sioux Falls. Yeah. Along with his buddy Babyface Nelson. You can still see the bullet holes in that building. Heck of a story. Yeah. Now, back to 1959. Considered one of the, if not the worst, movies ever put to film and shown on the big screen in America. Let's see if you can guess it, because here's the tagline from the poster. Unspeakable horrors from outer space paralyze the living and resurrect the dead. Night of the Living Dead. No, that was a great film. That came out in the 60s. Uh, Something from outer space. What was it? uh... Plan 9 from outer space. Ed Wood's now cult classic. You've never seen it? No. No. And your son, Troy, who who lives and dies for this stuff? He's he probably, probably seen it. Yeah, you need to sit down and he watch it He probably just disowned us when he found out we haven't seen it. You know, it is considered so bad, it's actually pretty amazingly horrible. In fact, Bella Lugosi was one of the stars of that film. Yeah. But he, uh, well, he died. Okay. And they actually used footage of him from another film. Oh, my God. That's how bad it is. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. He's a different character. No, it just nothing matters. You, you no. need to see this movie. You just do. Plan nine, plan? plan nine. Plan nine. P L A. Number nine. Nine. Plan nine from outer space. Huh. From uh, from Edward. Vampire is in it. Uh, Lyle Talbot, who was always playing the uh, werewolf and wolfman back in the day. I got plans for tonight now. Oh, <laughs> seriously. You got to see. I'm surprised you guys haven't won. Well, okay. Yeah. Whatever. And finally, in uh, 2019, speaking of films, just two years ago, Marvel's film Avengers Endgame hmm. becomes the world's highest grossing film ever. Yeah. Jumped ahead of Avatar, which scored $2.7 billion. Endgame, $2.9 billion. I don't know if you know this, that movie actually did better than the movie Deary Off the Wall. 
Ooh. I'm he did not better. that. I want to see hard numbers. That's tough yeah. to do. It is tough to do. But, but then an end game, it. you know, it costs $400 million to produce that. Well, mm. if so, you figure yeah. out how much it costs to produce Deary, and you figure out how much it costs to produce that movie, we probably broke, we, we probably did beat them. Okay, I blew seven bucks on a sweater for that film. Yeah. I know that. I still have the yeah. price tag on it. I can return it. <laughs> Savers do returns? Within 30 days, actually. Yes. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, she would know the answer to that. It's day. an exchange okay. for merchandise. Well, it was, it was... <laughs> It was working, though. I can have my people write it off, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I'm sure so, can. there you go. Man, this was just a heap and helping of what the heck a just lot. happened here. Yeah, it's no a lot that just happened. But I know, you know, and we all know, and, and we're better for it, I think. And, and we, we can just move ahead. We should have moved ahead minutes ago. But I thanks think so for listening too. <laughs> to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Reaper Arsenal Coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smells, smells like, like freedom. freedom. I'm Nick from PureCanOfCompany.com. We create the purest form of CBD with just three ingredients. CBD, as simple as one, two, three. Everything is 100% natural, GMO-free, gluten-free, kosher, and made in the USA. From the soil to the oil, we provide the purest form of CBD. We also keep the prices low so we can help as many people as possible. Learn more at PureCanOfCompany.com. Oils, lotions, bath bombs, and more. Use promo code RADIO to save 10% at P-U-R-E-C-A-N-A, PureCanOfCompany.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting. Yeah. And it is time for stuff Dan finds interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this fine Thursday? We hit on this story and we had this conversation and it was a little better, I think, uh, than a year ago, something like that. Talking about uh, couples doing the gender reveal thing. Oh, yeah. And sometimes that can go horribly wrong. And and it did, and I know for a fact we covered this story when it initially happened. It had to do with a, a Southern California couple whose gender reveal party... You know, they blew up some pyrotechnic devices for the reveal and managed to start about a 22,000-acre fire across two counties, San Bernardino. Uh, Yeah, well, a lot of charges has come to fruition at this point. And now, kind of, a firefighter died during that thing. This couple's in serious trouble. Just stop I doing mean, that, huge trouble. Uh, the couple of, of both pled not guilty at this point uh, on arraignments two days ago, released on their own recognizance. Uh, they are facing up to 30 different charges. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. And How would you like to be that kid? Someday when you're born, you're like, oh, hey, uh, you know, when your parents were getting well, ready to announce your it's gender. It's not the kid's fault the parents are Caught a giant stupid. fire and killed somebody. Like, that's just bad for everybody. Don't do those things. Well, I don't get, and again, our, our culture changes so much. Yeah. Used to be you got engaged, and that was normally kind of a private thing, but yeah. now there's engagement parties, yeah. which I had never heard of until yeah. maybe, I don't know, five, six years ago. Okay. But I think oh. the first happening would have yeah. been the uh, early 90s, someone who I worked with. All of a sudden, I have an invitation in my little you know company mailbox thing, invited to a, uh, a baby shower. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. I was just in the wrong box, but then I looked and it's got my name on it. So it's like guys go to this stuff. Well, yeah, they do. You gotta go. It's like, but it was brand new. You know, mm-hmm. in the mid '90s, all of a sudden, this thing guys go to baby showers. Yeah, and it just kind of goes on and on and on in these celebrations and it's like, well, of course, now with the gender reveal, I guess it's more of a mystery because uh, when I had children, Luke and Sadie, both now in their 30s. Uh, back then it was a boy or a girl, but now there's like 63. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like Baskin Robbins, 32 different flavors. So, yeah, there's just a lot more suspense to it. Yeah, gender reveal. (laughs) We'll tell you when the kid turns five or six and makes the decision on their own. Yeah, so what started out probably kind of innocent. Boy, this thing's really blown up. Hard to say what's going to happen. But, but yeah, it caught my eye because I remember doing this story, wondering about the whole gender reveal thing. So, yeah, yeah, they torched a bunch of stuff. Firefighter died. Another got injured. And they're facing over 30 charges at this point. So let's stop doing that. Yikes. I think we can all come together as a society and say we don't need to do that. No, no, I just found it interesting. I do, It is interesting. And that is why we call this Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Hi, I'm John, and I'm here to show small businesses that radio is a great investment. So what do you have here? This is a Chinese Ming vase. Wow, that looks expensive. And a bit fragile. Yes, it's valued at... Oh, my God, what are you doing? 
Hey, that was fragile. Why did you do that? To show everyone that radio advertising is a much better investment than some old pottery. I sure hope you had insurance on that thing. Let betterresultsadvertising.com bring your message to life right here on the radio. Here's the legal lady. No priceless heirlooms were destroyed. It was all in your mind. Thanks to betterresultsadvertising.com. Time now for your morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Mr. Dan Ferris back in the studio again here with... What is this something you look kind of somber over there? Is this like sad news? Somber is a, a great word for it. No, I think it's actually really pretty cool. Oh, what is it? But it is somber. It's one of our national monuments where I've never been able to like look at it, see videos of it, whatever, where you don't just kind of go, hmm, it humbles you. Yeah. Kind of quiets you down. You're familiar with the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Yeah. That has been on display in Arlington, Virginia for pretty much a mm-hmm. full century. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At uh, at this point, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at Arlington National Cemetery has been the final resting place for America's un- unidentified service members since 1921. So, yep, a century. Yeah. There is a half-scale replica tour. Oh, roadshow. Coming to Sioux the Falls. country. It's going to be in Sioux Falls this weekend. I'm talking oh, really? to Deb tomorrow all about that. Oh, so you're aware of this? Yeah, I'm going okay. to get the scoop on this tomorrow. So, yeah, t- tell me what you know. And Wait, then I'll... excuse me. Apparently, hey. I've got the scoop on this. <laughs> Wait, let me grab my journalistic trophy here. Uh, <laughs> Listen, t- Wait, tell who's me. got hardware? You That's do. Right, it's case. you. It's just all me. you. Just me. He's the Newsman of the Year award uh, that he's uh, yeah, flashing yeah, around yeah, the yeah, studio. Yeah. You wield that like a weapon in here, by the way. I've noticed. Well, you know. But but uh, yeah, I'm gonna listen to what you have to say because tomorrow when I'm doing my interview with Deborah, maybe I'll sound like I know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, it's uh, pretty much like I say. It's touring the country, and it will be here. Let me see if I can find the dates, or even if they're listed here. <laughs> well, well, it'll be here this weekend. So, so far, so good. We're at the South Dakota Military Heritage Alliance yeah. building right yeah. off uh, over Russell there, which is a fantastic facility. Yeah. And they expect, I guess, this thing's been averaging when they're popping into markets our size. But boy, this would be something. Uh, according to the powers that be, it's like uh, we could be expecting anywhere from ten to 15,000 people coming wow. through to see this. Oh, wow. That would be cool. Yeah, that's pretty great. Quite the crowd. That would be very nice. So, yeah, I think it's... Uh, kind of neat that it uh, landed here. Free admission, by the way. So if you'd like to go check it out, it's free. In addition to seeing the half-scale uh, replica of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, uh, you'll be able to ask questions of the guards who okay. will be protecting it, just like they, they do in, in Arlington. Yeah, so, so yeah, pretty yeah. Uh, pretty neat. Very cool. Yeah, it's really cool, and I'm glad that it's coming to town. And we'll get the full scoop, the skinny, the lowdown, everything that's happening tomorrow when Deborah's on the program. Yeah, Alliance will also be uh, hosting a fundraiser for Midwest Honor Flight this Saturday as well, oh. an organization that allows local veterans that too. to visit their respective monuments in Washington, D.C., and relies solely on fundraising events, which is a very, very cool thing. Absolutely so. it is. So there you go. You're looking for a little something this weekend, something with a little meaning to it? Yeah. Have at I think that would be really, really neat. Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for having me, guys. It is uh, it's an absolute honor. I can't stress enough. Control your leafy spurge. It's not just a good idea. <laughs> it's the law. It is. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SueEmpireJobs.com. I kind of feel like I've been talking about BetterCreditCards.com forever now. But we want to mention that BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. Why should that matter to you? Because this can save you money every single month. There's no fee to check it out. So when you get a minute, click on the website BetterCreditCards.com and see if we can help you find a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine and Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture, and we are going to brighten your day right now with a very funny comedian. We have Leanne Morgan joining us. Leanne, you're going to be in Sioux Falls Friday the 6th of August. Have you ever been to Sioux Falls before? No, my darling, I have not. Well, we are super excited to have you come and join us in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You'll be at the Washington Pavilion. And let's talk a little bit about how you became a comedian and and why a, a nice young lady like you decided to do something like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have an unusual story, my darling. I did not get started in comedy until I was in my early 30s and had three little babies. And I was selling jewelry like Tupperware. In women's homes, I sold these, this um, jewelry business where you go in women's homes and have a 
party and sell jewelry and eat a brownie and talk. And I started um, doing that, and I was booking so far in advance that the company noticed and asked me to start speaking at their big things. And the people would say, you need to be a stand-up comedian. And I had always wanted to be, I grew up loving comedy and wanted to be in show business, but I'm a, you know, from the country, I'm a little country girl from a town of 500 people, and I just didn't have the confidence or the wherewithal to do anything before um, my early 30s. And so, anywho, I ended up, honey, doing, um, becoming a professional comedian, and I've done it now for 22 years. And I have been watching the videos. I've not seen you in person, but that's going to change August 6th. I've been watching the videos. You are very, very funny. I love your style Thank of comedy you. as well. Because what I've seen, it doesn't seem like it's offensive at all. It, it seems like it's very funny and very relatable as well. Well, thank you, my darling. That's what people tell me. I mean, I, I'm a storyteller, and I talk about, you know, being a mom and a wife. And now I'm a grandmother. I've got a new grandbaby, my first one, he's seven months old. And so I talk about, I don't know, feeling fat from the pandemic and, um, <laughs> you know... Uh, <laughs> The things between me and my husband and all that, and, I, and over the years, people will say, have you been in a closet somewhere staring at me and my husband because you, we feel like we're living parallel lives and you're spying on us. So, I, you know, that's been, been very sweet to hear because um, people can relate to me, and, I, and it, I, it's just been a joy what's happening because now I'm... You know, I'm on a 100-city tour across the United States, and I'm 55 years old, and I've been doing comedy 22 years. And this is the biggest thing in my career. I think that's really, really cool. And, and I, I'm so excited for you, but I'm also excited for people in Sioux Falls to get a chance to come out and see you. It's Friday, August 6th at 7 p.m. Tickets are available, and I'm going to throw a link to make it easy to find those. But the thing that's really neat, in addition to your show that you're doing here, you were talking about this tour all across the country, and you get to work with some amazing people. And I see uh, you've got Nate Bargetsy that you get to work with, and he's going to be in Sioux Falls later in August with Jeff Foxworthy. So it's really kind of fun that there's that little connection. He'll be in Sioux Falls later, and you're going to be here. You get to kind of open for him here, don't you? I um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I am working with him next weekend in – Mississippi, we're doing two shows together, and then I'm doing shows with Jeff Foxworthy in October in the South, and Nate's doing shows with Jeff Foxworthy, and so it's kind of, I don't know if maybe in the future they're thinking we could all three work together, but, but I love both those guys, and I do think our comedy is not the same, but, you know, we're all, you know, clean comics, and we you know, family-oriented, and so we're kind of in the same vein. But I, I get to travel with Nate next weekend, honey. I hope he can deal with the menopausal woman. <laughs> well, what i got to say, because he's younger. <laughs> well, we are super excited to have you in town. Again, Leanne's show is Friday, August 6th at 7 p.m., and then Nate and uh, and Jeff Foxworthy, they're coming like the 22nd of August. I'm going to make it simple. I'm going to make it easy for you to find tickets to see Leanne Morgan in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, coming up in, in just a few short weeks now. It's coming right up here. It's Friday, August the 6th at the Washington Pavilion. All of the details and a link to get tickets at facebook.com slash sunny radio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Addiction is a problem for many, and addiction can drive away those you love the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. TimeForRehab.com reminds you that you don't need to let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. We want to help. TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner, brought to you by Reaper Arsenal. Well, I'm ruggedly handsome. I'm a heck of a man. I mess around with nature whenever I can. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love the little critters and the big critters, too. Like to cook them up in a tasty stew. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir, I'm Ranger Dan. Well, it's time for Critter Corner right here on Sunny. If you like the show, then send me some money. He's Ranger Dan. Cash and credit card only. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. 
Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. I'm Bill Snappy Salute. I'm the Will Starch Brim, the Ranger Dan Cap to you, too. What's happening over there, Gibby? Hello, Heidi. Ranger Dan. Oh, Heidi, boy, I know you get excited about this, Heidi. I do, too. I said, it's mailbag day here. At Ooh. Boy, that stuff piles up, and I tell you what, if I ain't using it for insulation in my ice fishing shack over there on Okaboji, I don't know what else I'd do with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let her hear. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, and, and uh, okay, dear Ranger Dan, really, really love, love, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Critter Corner is the best, etc. Blah, blah, blah. You are indeed ruggedly handsome. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Blah, blah, blah. The use, the use, the use. Ah, here we go. Here we go. I can't help but notice that for the past couple of weeks, you seem to be just really focused on what I guess is uh, your revenue or your money-making end of uh, <laughs> Ranger Dan Enterprises, uh, like your Critter of the Month Club and uh, your upcoming 60-minute Zoopapalooza Safari. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, Ranger Dan. Those are really fantastic opportunities. And I know everything you do, you do for the kids. Yep. That's the overall right. general well-being of just people everywhere, regardless of race, creed, or religion. <laughs> That's right. It but I well. do, I do miss you sharing your in-depth expert knowledge on critters and all things nature. She, she wrote She Nietzsche. wrote nature. Because see, it's nature and it's neat. I put them together. And and she's say, a true and say, fan. And say nature. It's nature. Nature. There <laughs> you go. Okay, where were we here? Ah, also, I just want you to know, I did recently recently purchase your 64 ounce uh, Ranger Dan s'mores in a can along with two boxes of uh, those Billy Grahams. Super convenient, great tasting. Little side note, our nine-year-old son, uh, uh, Braden's uh, lip swelled up shortly after eating one. Now, even though oh. even though he's not in any discomfort, he, uh, he's starting to look a little bit like Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> now he does have some food allergies, but there's absolutely no ingredients listed uh, listed on the can. Oh well, just oh, one well. of life's little mysteries, I guess. <laughs> anyway, again, love the show, yakety yak, blah blah blah. Looking forward to some critter knowledge. Your biggest biggest fan. Signed Juanita Consuelo Lucia Lindquist. <laughs> Very nice. I appreciate the uh, letter there, uh, what, uh, Juanita. Can I call you Juan? Great. <laughs> a lot going on here. First up, Gene, good uh, <laughs> Good point on my un- entrepreneurial endeavor, endeavor, endeavors. Fact is, uh, you know, producing this show ain't free. Unlike NPR, which has been dipping its big old hippie beak in the taxpayer <laughs> pocket for 50 plus years. I have to cover all my expenses. In fact, this is without my line of official merchandise, my events, and the like. Critter Corner would cease to exist. Hmm. And I'd have to go back to actually doing my job. And <laughs> by gum, nobody wants that. <laughs> Second, thanks for your s'mores in a can purchase. I'm sure little Brantley's lip problem is just a coincidence, uh... I would suggest hustling them off to a clinic as soon as possible, though. And uh, third, <laughs> as far as critter knowledge goes, you know what? Here, Joan, I'm going to throw you a little bone. Here you go. Bees can't fly in the rain. Rats can't vomit. And if you slap a bear, he's going to slap you back, kill you, and eat you. little something to put in your hip <laughs> pocket. Go. All right. The next critter for is Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm Nick from PureCanOfCompany.com. We create the purest form of CBD with just three ingredients. CBD, as simple as one, two, three. Everything is 100% natural, GMO-free, gluten-free, kosher, and made in the USA. From the soil to the oil, we provide the purest form of CBD. We also keep the prices low so we can help as many people as possible. Learn more at PureCanOfCompany.com. Oils, lotions, bath bombs, and more. Use promo code RADIO to save 10% at P-U-R-E-C-A-N-A, PureCanOfCompany.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. The earnings-driven rebound continued Wednesday, with all of the major indices moving up more than 0.5%. The blue-chip Dow Jones Industrial Average led the day on strength in shares of Coca-Cola. The global beverage giant reported better-than-expected earnings and guided the market higher, driving stocks up more than 3% at the high of the day. Thursday's action may see a continuation of this trend due to reports released after the bell Wednesday and before the open Thursday. Among them is consumer product giant Whirlpool, who's expected to report robust year-over-year gains. 
and another increase to an already ballooning backlog. The risk for Whirlpool and the market is that systematic shortages of raw material and shipping capacity may cut into the top and bottom line results. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. 